Hi guys, it's us again. It's good YouTube. Hi YouTube, we're back. Studio B21 with another React video. We love food, but you know what we also love? You hitting the like and subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Follow us on the socials. The socials, the socials, the socials. But yeah, so today, just as a little fun, fun little thing, we're going to be looking at uh, the most popular fast food in every one of our U.S. neighbor states. No, no. And Ooh. we'll see what it is, see what we think, and see if we can have either the same or you can do it for cheaper here. From cult favorites to local institutions, here is each state's favorite fast food restaurant. You can only get Milo's hamburgers in Alabama. The Milo's original burger consists of a fresh grilled patty, its famous secret sauce, onions, and pickles. Flat top grilled. Flat top grilled barbecue burger. With onions. Classic. Onions and pickles, you need that? You need the, you need the bite, you need the acid. Yeah. For yeah. The, for nice meat, you steam the buns, good. Probably only costs a dollar, probably only costs two, 250 there. I, I need it. I need it. Pickles. Tommy's Burger Stop is a small diner in Anchorage that specializes in Cajun-influenced burgers and po'boys. Its burgers are humongous and packed with flavor. Known for its large... Now, the thing about Alaska is that it's so cold there. Everything needs to be huge and calorie bulking to keep you warm. How many cows do they have in Alaska? Not a lot. That's what I was thinking there, and it's huge. Everything's going to be really expensive there. Yeah. Like, but, you know, if you got to spend the money, spend on a big burger. Damn right. You can depend on Filibertos for your Mexican food cravings. The favorite thing on the menu is the Arizona burrito, made of carne asada, pico de gallo, potatoes, and cheese. Slim Chickens is the okay. go-to fast food chain in Northwest Arkansas. It prides itself on its all-natural chicken tenders, and there are 17 dipping sauces to choose from. Okay, I feel like I'm going to get a text from my wife after seeing this that we need to go to Arkansas. <laughs> Tips. Chicken fingers, every every girl's favorite. Yeah, every girl's favorite. And uh, Jake from the Brooklyn Nine Nine. Yep. <laughs> the tendies. You'll be hard pressed to find a Californian who doesn't love In and Out. Its not so secret menu includes the animal style burgers and fries. You can even get a burger with a. I have been there. It is amazing. God, I want to go back so bad. I been to the states and like that was one of my first it was on the bucket list that that was the to, first thing to get the in and out burger when me and my wife went to california that was the first thing she wanted to do off the plane like not even go to the hotel just go to in and out that's how much of an institution it is well that's the thing it's like in and out burger it's a fast food joint that's a, and they a little do bit it more right. elevated right then shake shack is a fine dining thing yep. that went to fast food now, oh, yeah. years and years ago, In and Out did a pop up in Toronto, mm -hmm. and the lineup it the lineup went for kilometers. God damn! Like legitimately, like I every day we wake up praying that somehow someone will convince the chain to invest in a Toronto location because whoever has that location will be a billionaire. Well, they, By they, years they end. Don't, they don't even have much in the east coast of the U.S. It's no, it's all, all west coast. All west coast type deal. Like, so yeah. Can you imagine if they opened up one in like Vancouver? Amazing. Amazing. The lettuce bun. The first Chipotle opened in Chipotle. Oh god. Chipotle. You gotta film them. You gotta US film them while making your burrito. While burritos, bowls, and tacos are the bulk of its orders. Chipotle's secret you, menu includes you hear about the portion size of that? You gotta film Duchess them. This is a 14 restaurant chain found only in Connecticut. Okay. It has all day breakfast platter. So, so there's a trend going on at Chipotle where they're not giving you not nearly as much as they used to. And Shrinkflation. And they're, you're filming them and once you get past the meat it's barely anything on the, the spoon. Pan. Yeah. And it's like you just walk out, and it's just—it's very sad what they're doing. Oh yeah, 
But yeah. But the crown jewels are the breakfast sandwiches. Capriati's is known for its turkey subs and cheese steaks. The signature is the Bobby, which is basically Thanksgiving on a roll. Oof, People no love Pollo Tropical for its That's juicy amazing. chicken and Caribbean flavors. Its chicken is marinated for hours and flame grilled for the best flavor. Yes. Fast food giant Chick-fil-A was founded in Atlanta in 1967. Yep. Since then, it's opened about 2,600 U.S. locations. Never on Sunday. The waffle fries are the most ordered menu item, really? even beating out the original chicken sandwich. People go to Zippy's for local comfort food in Hawaii. It serves both classic diner food. Just going to say Chick-fil-A. We are in Pride Month. I am an ally, but God damn it, I will always go back to you. Until the gays <laughs> learn to fry better chicken, I'm always coming back to you, baby. I'm always coming back. The gays have Sunday. The gays have Sunday. And when, if they can learn to fry a chicken like you, then I will leave. But damn it, you have my heart, Chick-fil-A. But Hawaii with the, the spam and eggs oh, for breakfast? Oh, yes. Beauty. Beauty. And Hawaiian style food, such as Simon and Chili Moco. Moco Loco. The Fry Company has great burgers, but it's famous for its French fries. You can choose from six kinds of potatoes and five different cuts. Not to mention the nine dipping sauces, which include blueberry ketchup and pumpkin aioli. Portillo's is known for its Chicago-style hot dogs, topped with mustard, relish, A onions, tomatoes, pickles, sport peppers, and celery salt. Mm. Whew. But its best kept secret is the cake shake, yep. which has a whole slice of chocolate cake in it. What? The cake diabetes. Cake shake gives you a what? classic diner vibe with its breakfast, burgers, and milkshakes. Customers love the Frisco Melt, the restaurant's version of a patty melt. Made Right specializes in loose meat sandwiches, loose meat sandwiches. which are similar to Sloppy Joe's Sloppy with Joe, baby. sauce. But there's a secret spice blend that packs a punch. Freddy's frozen custard and steak burgers is known for its friendly service, retro vibe, and delicious so steak burgers. It also serves some unforgettable frozen custard and sundaes. While the original recipe was created in Kentucky, KFC has become a worldwide phenomenon. It's the world's second largest restaurant chain after McDonald's. Fun fact about KFC. Christmas Eve is KFC's busiest day in Japan. Because everywhere else, like... Fried chicken in Japan for Christmas is tradition almost. Right yeah. Now. And it is the well, it is KFC's busiest day of the year. Maybe even beating out the states at that point. I yes, think. yes. I would totally agree. Like that's pretty cool. Though. That's so cool. Well, Popeyes was founded in New Orleans in 1972. We're choosing Raising Cane's for Really? Years, with roughly seven wow. items on the menu, an emphasis is put on quality. I, I went there. It's not quantity. great. It's not great. The High Roller Lobster Co. makes Gotta awesome have lobster, lobster rolls roll and burgers. Another must-have is the Lobster Cheese Crisp Taco. Mm -hmm. Boardwalk Fries serves some of the best fries in Maryland. Its fries are cooked multiple times, lightly salted, and served fresh. America uh, runs on Come Duncan, on, step it but up. Massachusetts is where it was birthed. You want to Known for its fast up. service and affordable prices, Duncan is a reliable ben place Affleck. to get a quick bite and eat ben a faster coffee. Leo's Coney Island is a restaurant chain found specifically in Michigan. It's popular for the breakfast and Greek specialties like gyros and Greek salad. Dairy Queen is headquartered in Minneapolis. Dairy Queen? Its most well-known item is the DQ Blizzard, which has more than 20 flavors to choose from. Zaxby's has more than 900 locations, mostly in the South. It's known for its chicken finger plate, which includes chicken fingers with Texas toast, coleslaw, crinkle fries, Zach sauce, and a 22-ounce drink. Lion's Choice specializes in roast beef sandwiches. I just, I just want to say I'm not a fan of having Zach sauce anywhere near my mouth for some reason. Happy Pride. What, what did he do to you? Buddy? Happy Pride. <laughs> Mainly in the St. Louis area. These sandwiches are made of real top round beef and served medium rare. The Pickle Barrel makes some of the best cheesesteaks and ah, subs in Montana. They're nice. made with fresh ingredients and a portion. A runza is a classic Nebraskan food. It's basically a hot pocket with beef, cabbage, and onions that originated from Nebraska's German and Russian immigrant population. Board of Subs is known for its fresh slices you order subs, ranging from 5 to 24 Nevada. inches. 
similar to Subway, it has an assembly line set up for a quick meal to go. That's that's incredibly interesting. Nevada is like pretty much only known for Vegas. Mm -hmm. And you would figure it'd be hard to find like something in that melting pot of just capitalist greed. Mm -hmm. And it's subs. Yeah. I find that weird. Okay. Mr. Mac specializes in mac and cheese. Yes. It offers 21 flavors, including the taco mac and pizza mac. Interesting. Jersey Mike is known for its quick serve and fresh hoagie. Yes, hokey. Jersey Mike. One of its most popular sandwiches is the turkey and provolone. Blake's Lotta Burger was founded in Albuquerque. The signature is the Lotta Burger with green chili and cheese. Yeah, it that'd said be that good. the Lotta Burger was a large contributor to popularizing green chilies that on hamburgers. That would be super good. Shake Shack started as a hot dog cart yep. inside Madison Square Park in New York City. As it grew into a park stand and then multi-restaurant chain, it expanded the menu to include burgers, fries, and frozen custards. Even today, the Innovation Kitchen at the West Village location is trying out test items. The foundation cool. of Bojangles is its fried chicken and biscuits. Other standouts are the Cajun Filet Biscuit and the Bow Berry Biscuit. Space Aliens Grill and Bar is an outer space good biscuit. themed restaurant oh. chain found in North Dakota and Minnesota. The fun decor is filled with neon lights, alien statues, and arcade games. Skyline Chili is known for its three-way yes. dish, consisting three of spaghetti, chili, and cheese. In fact, you can top most menu items yeah. with Cincinnati-style chili and a mountain of cheese. That is literally one of the only reasons why my wife wants to go to Cincinnati, just to have Skyline Chili. How I go. Sonic is headquartered in Oklahoma City. Oh, its God. iconic drive-up layout makes ordering quick and in-car dining easy. Popular menu items are the foot-long hot dog and slushies. Okay, hungry. Burgerville is a restaurant chain popular in Oregon and Southwest Washington. Its burgers and milkshakes are staples, but it's the seasonal items that people look forward to. Another fun fact is the chain uses 100% wind power for all its restaurants. Walla isn't just a convenience store, but a way of life for Pennsylvanians. Yep. Hoagies, coffee, gas, breakfast, snacks, just name it, and you can get it at Wawa. Bonneville, New York now. system is known I've for been. its hot wieners okay. and coffee milk. The hot wieners are topped with yellow mustard, meat sauce, and chopped onions. Waffle House is a southern staple. Whether you're going in for an early breakfast <laughs> or a late night meal, you can find dependable you don't mess 24 with the hour Waffle House service staff. and delicious food. They've seen things. Giliberto's Mexican top. Waffle House is an institution. Not just for the food, but for just the entertainment value of that. No matter what day it is, whether it be at 7 in the morning or 2 in the morning, anyone can catch these <laughs> fucking hands in a Waffle House. <laughs> yes, I. Good lord. Taco Shop has two locations in South Dakota. It serves mouth-watering Mexican food, such as carne asada and carnitas tacos. Crystal is a southern fast food chain founded in Tennessee. It's known for its iconic sliders, similar to White Castle. But don't underestimate this small sandwich. It's the most popular thing on the menu. Texans love Whataburger. A lot. Its patties are served on a five inch diameter bun, making too. it bigger than a lot of other burgers. Other standouts are the patty melt and honey butter chicken biscuit. Crown Burgers serves both fast food and Greek cuisine, but its claim to fame is the Crown Burger, a cheeseburger Jeez. with lots of pastrami. Al's oh, French that's fries pastrami. is a small town burger joint in South Burlington. It's been serving burgers and fries to Vermont locals since 1946. Biscuitville is a popular fast food chain in Virginia and oh, North Carolina. Good. It specializes in southern breakfast classics <sighs> like biscuit sandwiches, grits, country ham, and hash browns. Oh, yeah? Next Drive-In is a Seattle-based fast food chain that Happy focuses Pride. on burgers, fries, and shakes. Its signature burger, the Dick's Deluxe, is <laughs> simple but delicious. Tudor's Biscuit World is a restaurant chain commonly found in West Virginia specializing in breakfast and biscuits. Culver's is a Wisconsin favorite. The there. must haves are the butter burger <laughs> with the frozen custard. And since it's Wisconsin, you've got to try the fried cheese curry. Yep. Taco John's was founded in Cheyenne in 1968. Since then, its tacos have made it all over the Midwest and Rocky Mountain region. Popular menu items are the quesadilla taco and potato oles. 
While they aren't technically states, here are the favorite fast food restaurants from Washington, D.C. and Puerto Rico. Ben's Chili Bowl is beloved in Washington, D.C. Regulars order the half-smoked smothered in homemade beef chili. That's El Maison Sandwiches is Puerto Rico's largest restaurant chain with 37 locations. Mm. Well, it, I'll admit it went by very quick, but what stood out for me, uh, you know what? I love a good sub. The Jersey Mike's in New Jersey, mm. it just looks so good, like so... And I've seen the videos. They cut it fresh to put on. Oh, like yeah. their they, their biceps are just like I, steroids. I, I gotta love the shredded lettuce. I love and it. Shredded lettuce with that sub sauce on top. Just just mm, mm. kiss. But yeah. What about those, you, good sir? Any of those biscuit sandwiches? Oh yeah. Good <laughs> lord. It's been a while since I've had a good biscuit. Tim Hortons does not make a good no, biscuit. No. It just makes me sad to think of Tim Hortons. Mm-hmm. It was a while there where I was living off the breakfast sandwiches at Timmy's and, and it was just sad it was just the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth yep it's just saying a lot <laughs> but uh yeah I don't have to go back and eat it again oh no but that being said those look really good Describe which one was eggs. your favorite comment down below yep you no know, thank you for joining us on this adventure we uh, thank you for putting up with us as usual you know, and we look forward to seeing you again Be good to you. Be good to others. Love you guys. Bye.